Hello, hello everyone. My name is Mzweda Rotondwa and I'm back again with another tutorial that you will have a lot. Today I will be showing you how to create a website using HTML5. Somebody suggested on our social media page of which it is a Facebook page where they said they want to be taught how to create a website using HTML5. I hope you are ready if you want to learn that. Now, there are a few things that I will want you to have. First of it, it's a internet access. Secondly, it's a laptop or a computer. Thirdly, it's, it's, it's a browser or software you can use to access the internet. Um, if you are new to our Facebook, uh, to our YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe and also watch the previous videos because things have been happening now as i do make sure that you also do another thing that you will need for this tutorial it's a software called brackets brackets it's a it's an editing platform it is like this in symbol so i've already downloaded it make sure that you download it you have it in your computer we will use it now, once you have it in your computer, therefore open the brackets. Open the brackets. As I do make sure that it's simple. Now, with, with, with HTML, there will be some few things I would like you to take note of. Okay, now it opens like this. You go to where it's written file and you say new. Okay, and then on file again, you go and you say save. Here we go. Now it it says make sure that you write. Uh, let, let's say my file will be roto for no dot html. Make sure that your file it's always uh, it's it's always having an extension of html therefore you click save therefore you will have a page like this one good 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 now as i was saying in html there are a few things i would like you to take note of and those are the html tags tags like a uh, doc type a doc type that defines the type of a document that your website is carrying of which it is an html and html is also a tag yes that creates a, a, a um, it's, it's a tag that creates an html document and also another tag that i would like you to know it's a tag that is called a head a head a head tag it, it defines the information about the about the the website i would also like you to have it note, note it down and also uh, you you must have a, a title a title tag it it will it will assist you to add the title to your website the one that will be displayed on the on the browser and also the body is the one that carries everything about your website everything about your website and uh, the the last two i would like you to know it's 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 the heading of your website of which it's a h1 and also uh, another one that i would like you to know it's p tag of which is for the paragraph now let's begin to work adjust my screen there we go let me open my first tag okay there we go the first one i was talking about is it's it's what we call it a dog type dog type and remember in programming i told you that whatever you open you must as well close so if you check once once i type dog type it opens and also close now from dog type i would like you to come with another one of which is an HTML, the one that will tell HTML. There we go. There we go. 
All right, good, good, good. Now, in between doc type and HTML, that's where we are going to start to work. Let, 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 let's start with our head. Oh, uh, let me go high. Yes, it will be fine. Let's start with our head tag. Now, with our head tag, we are going to put in between our our title yes our website title is found inside the head tag so now let's say title there we go therefore we'll put information in between inside the title now from the head we comes to what we call it a body it's just like you a human being it's a head on top and therefore yes now let, let's come with our body our body tag and therefore inside the body we'll also put something now inside the body let's say we will put our 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 heading our heading or the heading of our website uh, let's use the heading tag the head um i mean <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. The heading is H1. Yes. All right. Put the space in between there. Let's come down and then from the heading will comes to um oh, we'll come to let's put two headings at least. Put two headings. I wanted to come to the paragraph. Let's put two headings headings all right here we go from the headings let's put our paragraph our key tag here we go let's put the last paragraph okay <clears throat> here we go perfect simple as this so far our website is almost done if you've done what i've done so far uh you are almost done with creating your website now on our head i said create a tag that is called title now inside the title put the title of 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 your website let's say my title is um <laughs> our title let's call it mujolo the pandemic okay mujolo the pandemic all right now once you are you have written this save save once you save you come here on this sign you click therefore it will connect live connection of what you've created as a website to chrome so make sure that you also have a chrome in your device because whatever you create on the html5 as a website it comes this side and it opens chrome now check our website this is the title of our website mujolo the pandemic okay let's close let's come to the heading of our website um let's say the heading says i have found love <laughs> i have found love okay now let's save make sure that whatever you do you save now let's go I almost said let's debug it. There we go. Mujolo the pandemic is the title of our website. Now the aging of our website is I found love. All right. Now let me show you something again. Um, instead of closing it, you can minimize it. And if you minimize it, whatever you edit this site, yes, 
it goes straight to your chrome no need to debug it like okay i found love again eh? i found love and let's say i found love it says i found love now let's say again again i've typed again now let's say we don't go here to debug if we click here you'll find that it is already sent here i found love again so you can choose to minimize or to close either way but to minimize it saves your time now let's come to our second heading it, it's a question who could ever thought hey love website <laughs> who could ever thought okay let's say save we have saved let's come to our chrome this is our website title mujolo the pandemic i found love again our first title our second title who could ever thought okay now i'll mix the both methods so you can see that they both work the closing one and the minimizing one now let's come to our paragraph paragraph number one um what can i say about mujolo but okay it's a boy boy <laughs> all right bono langa is a girl i love the most i'm just using it as an example and therefore let's put also the second paragraph thing okay? If time um <clears throat> if you need love contact me the love doctor <laughs> all right let's let's see let's see let's see let's see okay mm -hmm. let's run our website it connect here we go our website title our website heading first heading our website second heading first paragraph second paragraph if you just did what i did together with me good luck you have created your first web site you are a web developer my name is mzeda and thank you so much for watching this video to the end make sure that you subscribe to our web to our youtube channel and follow us in all the social media platforms if you have any suggestion or any question make sure that you ask down there on the station or on our social medias we will come and answer and whatever you suggest us to do for you, we'll make sure that we do it. Thank you so much for watching this video. And the next one that comes after this one, I will be showing you how to create a website using WordPad. Yes, yes, yes. You heard me correctly. WordPad. You'll be using WordPad. The same WordPad you have been having in your computers. We'll be using WordPad. And any internet platform okay thank you so much god bless you